Play. Locked in. No way. Wait a second. Wait, uh, mm, I don't know about that one. We As see real jungle. Hand up from Coach Ohm. Yeah, that's is there, the there's up. a hand up. And the Talia is locked in. If this Lucian is locked in, it's going to be secured. Holy oh, no. what? That's it. Is that it? That has to. It's an Ezreal jungle. This is the best Ezreal day ever. I has. cannot believe it. It's going to be it's so exciting to keep track of that jungle Ezreal's pathing because this is wildly unique. And what better way to gain the momentum in this series by taking game two with the likes of this absolutely unexpected pick? I can't believe that I am watching this. They're not as coordinated in a circular arena, unfortunately, I, Dom, but a I lot of hype nonetheless. It seems like they're actually being competitive in their chance. They're overshouting each other. As the threaded volley catches Rookie for just a bit of damage. And the one thing we didn't actually mention was the mid lane matchup. We had an inclination towards a Lucian, and we did get it. Rookie's mm. Lucian, no less. Something that has to be mentioned. He's just that good of a Lucian. WE are invading this blue buff right now away from IG. And there is a ward that sees this happening, but... Okay, so, as someone who's not seen Jungle Lucian in years... Ezreal. That's one, Ezreal. And I wonder what his, his actual rune page is, and if he gets to level 3 early, that would showcase to me what his strategy is if he's going to look to pressure up in the jungle. I mean, they're seeing, we're seeing a skirmish in the bottom lane. Actually, it's going to turn into something. He's already That's ignited. stunned and ignited as he actually turns back with uh, what looks to be his exhaust. And that's going to be damaging with exhaust down and a lot of HP down on Tark. Kondia is on, on this side of the map. He isn't going to leave this side of the map. They're trading sides of the jungle. It's going to make it immediately much easier for Kondi to just go towards the bottom side. The things that have to be mentioned, of course, you haven't seen a lot of Ezreal jungle. Blue Reliant needs to have the blue, needs to keep up his, fi his five stacks. Levels W at level three because you get the attack speed bonus by using your E through it. That is how you jungle clear, then generally you'll kite the camps every time E is off cooldown. The attack speed at five stacks is incredible. Uh, regarding runes, usually you'll go for AD because you don't need the attack speed mm -hmm. because if you got that passive there. So Ezreal very much adept at jungling, believe it or not, mm -hmm. and is fantastic at clearing camps with decent help. And that's what we see right now. He's looping around that's towards Drybush. And like you said, it is a very big wave. Blast Cone straight in. He's got the red buff. Speeds up Mystic's attack. That's West. He sidestepped the flash, but the stun locks him down. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a pause. As we're watching the dive. Oh, and that's oh. first blood. Ben survives it, too, as there are even more auto attacks onto Megan. It's going to be hard for them to try for another one. Megan is full HP, and Ben can Ben hits the Q they oh, can. Oh, that's the Q. Ben steps out, taking only a single one. Condi goes low and is forced to flash away. They lock it down. Two kills for WE. And here's the thing. They weren't able to take that bottom lane tower just yet. That's why Condi is still here. His focus, as in Ezreal, is to snowball based off of the towers, the tower gold. If he can get this, it should be easy. And now, again, Condi with the constant invading. He has laid claim to this side of the jungle. He's skirmishing with Ning. Look at the harass that this Ezreal is landing. They've also got Talia. Oh, no the shy! Way. Dies solo to 957. He can get away with that going up against Young, but 957 is the captain of WE. So the Rumble's direction couldn't change. Condi. Oh, they found Condi. He shifts away and goes down. That's the one person you don't want off the map if you're WE. They're very close to losing this bottom tier one as Mystic and Ben step forward. That's the flash. Stun. He's taking a lot of damage, but the slow lands. Ben leaps back as they are just trading this health onto Ning. Well, Ning. Oh. Concussive blows as he's stunned. West is about to get stunned too. Mystic is sidestepping everything. He goes low. West with the auto. Gets ready. Tries oh. to trade it over and finally locks it down. Winter's bite prevents any further chase. Elaborate trap from Team WE. Just playing this vision game. IG, nice and patient. They're respecting it, but they're starting to push out bottom. Here we go. Here we go. WE loop around the corner. They are now behind. They've got a big loop to take, though. Run. Very low mana on that Twitch. 
Megan screams loudly as he discovers them all. You've got Shie flanking and teleports in. Oh, that's the flash. West is caught. Cosmic Radiant. He's stunned, but he's got the invulnerability. Walking away. Rookie now has joined the fight as the Shy joins it from the other side. Equalizer on top of the back as this is IG finding a big cast. They've got Ben Low. Ning leaps in. He's stunned, and they trade one for one so far. Continuing to burn it away. Oh. And that's Rookie flashing forward for the kill. He going to get a second one. Chasing WE Rookie all the wants way it. back to the turn. That's a triple kill for Rookie, a quadruple kill for Rookie, no! but he is denied the Penta. Double kill for Shie, as IG bite off too much, but they still come up huge. Next Dragon's up in 60 seconds, and that is an Infernal. That's why the bottom side of the map is going to be a major focus for both teams, solely for Invictus Gaming. They have a little bit of a, a new dimension to it. They can actually try to play towards mid and try and threaten this mid lane tower with how low it is. And he's in the pit. Just leaps over the wall. She is behind IG. as all 10 members are grouped up, ready to fight once again. You'd have to imagine they are looking for it. The Weaver's Wall is out to separate them. Condi. Oh, but what an equalizer on the opposite side. Draws the line as that's Infernal Dragon picked up. Culling hits the front line as Megan needs some damage from Shie, but Rookie, will he give up the chase? What hurts here for WE is how low they are now. Yeah. You see what Rookie has done here. Being able to take the Krugs out completely. Might even take out 957's life. Oh, he's got a long way to go. Steps into the brush. Rookie tries to kite it around. Ooh, dodges the hey, rupture. Look at the damage. An early feast, but 957 goes down. Yeah, they'll be happy to take that trade, actually, WE. I know Rookie didn't have mana and had just used the ACA. All right. Okay, West. And 957's in. Yeah, yeah, he teleported in from behind. WE are making a play here. They're trying to collapse. Here comes Mystic and Ben as well. That's the Righteous Glory. He's caught by the stun. There's going to be a lot of damage if he manages to find it. That's a rupture sidestepped as IG looks like they're able to retreat the slow on the Megan. Cosmic so Radiant, close. it comes down, but Megan is dead. Rookie's in. Rookie has joined the fight. He sidesteps. That's the calling. Ben sacrifices himself. Oh, the shy shy. from the Shy in the back as IG answer with an ace of their own. The Shy comes out of nowhere along with Rookie to save the fight. Megan did his job. What Infinity Edge will do here. 957 wants this. He's trading it back. That's going to be Shie joining as well as Zanyas to stall this out. The rest of the team is fighting. Quick rupture to toss him back. The Feast locks down the kill. Yeah, but the response is the top lane. They're already on it. Rookie was doing his job pushing out the top side of the map. And he has the Baron buff wave. WE needs to come and defend this. Here comes the push. It's four members. Finally, the recall from 957. But the inhib is already going Ooh. down so low. It is broken. Fight breaks out. Cosmic Radiant sting in the front as West goes low, but he oh, survives, he's alive. but only just the heal to keep him alive. He flashes away from 957. Oh. Have you ever seen footwork like that as Rookie is dishing it out on the side? It's a 40 second death timer on 957. It's not going to be the end of the game, but that inhib is going to come down easily. WE are desperate. They're making plays on the opposite side of the map, picking apart the Shy, and this is the repercussions of their actions. All eyes on West. They wanted to be able to kill him. Dark ulti comes in just to save him. Bam! <laughs> As the Q hits. And he didn't have heal just yet is what I'm seeing, so it was really clutch to see West come that low. Yeah, and he's about 1600 of having the Infinity Edge there as well, so... It's like threatening, controlling a 1v2. Calling for harass. He's not even letting 957 heal off of this as he steps up to the turret. Might even finish it off as IG break down two turrets at the same time. They are pulling WE apart. That was the last breath of their Baron as well. So he's going to be just jumping at this. They have to actually get on top of him and stop him from taking this inhib. WE will say are looking for it. I'm not sure she has enough mana. He's too busy dealing with super minions. So ultimately... 14 kills to 10, 28 minutes in, a single inhibitor still standing for WE. Yeah, and this is when we do take a step back and look towards the Ezreal pick because it's fun. I, li I liked it, right? It is execution based. We saw the execution essentially fail really early on, and this is the repercussion. This is the penalty you pay of falling early. Victus Gaming are intent on punishing that Ezreal as much as possible, still not recalling. This is so scary for WE, a precarious edge they now find themselves on as Weaver's Wall right down the middle tries to split the minion wave. Cosmic Radiance as they move in for the turret. 
That's going to keep the carries nice and healthy as Rookie steps forward. Equalizer layered on top of W.E. Oh, as they w. break e. this third in hit. Oh. The cast goes forward, as does the shy, but he is dead. True shot barrage gets damaged. Ning is able to lock it down with West. It's three in hips down, but Rookie flashes in. He's Woo. looking for Mystic, who sidesteps. It's all fancy footwork to try to lock down the end of the game. Oh. Even West, West goes too far forward and dies. He keeps doing it, West. He needs to calm down. He might have just won the entire game and then lost it all in the next team fight how many times is he going to do this we hold on we stuck dealing yeah they just walk it right on down that mid lane all five members of ig and inhib has respawned so ig of course ever the diligent team walk on over towards it to escort the next wave in as that's a Weaver's Wall actually separating them Sing the is shy is caught forward. he's pinned into the back rookie fires across onto ben just to keep him locked down, and the seismic shove misses. Yeah, good form from Megan to utilize. Oh, West oh, steps West. forward again, looking to end the game right now. Equalizer on top of it. Ben eats the culling and dies to West. Knock up from Ning as Mystic takes to the skies, but Shea is low, burned down by the Shy. Oh. They get a stun, but IG chase it down to the fountain. Three members dead. Who needs the inhib when you can end the game? It's Invictus Gaming, dropping it, taking the Nexus, getting another kill for the Pride. Oh, they're dive. Nah. But they bring it right on back. Ladies and gentlemen, this series is tied up one to one.